What's going on this week, YouTube? I've got a real special treat for you. 59 Chevy Biscayne. Bought this one a couple weeks ago. Um, no, actually more than that. Probably a month ago. Maybe two months ago. I can't remember anymore. Finally got it up here. And we're going to clean it out today. Maybe see if the engine turns over. I don't know yet. It's kind of questionable. But one good thing about this car is that the previous owner we bought it, loosened the brakes up, put it on good tires. So that's a treat in itself because the past two cars we've had to do all that work and it's about time we get one that's a little bit more easier. So let's dive into this baby and see what we got. All right, first things first, let's do a little walk around this thing. See exactly what we're dealing with here. Um, you can see if she's up on rubber, which is good. Pretty crusty down there on the rockers. We kind of knew that when we bought it. The only reason we really bought this car is because we don't have a 59. And I love 59s. So, that's why we bought it. I don't know. I'm I'm even kind of questioning cleaning it out because I think it's pretty crusty under there when we had it up on the rollback. The only thing might be holding the whole floor together is the vinyl floor ring on here, but we'll, we'll give her a shot. We'll clean her out. You never know. We might find some goodies in this thing. That one don't want to open up. Stubborn. Favorite part of a 59. Beautiful. God, I wish they made cars like this. Still with these fins, love them. I don't know, I might drill that hole out, or that uh, lock out too. Let's see if we can get in that trunk. Supposedly this is a one family owned car. Uh, the lady we bought it from, she drove it all over. It was her grandpa's car before that. It's what she told me anyways. And I don't think that old lady would lie to me. Unless she's just that damn good of a salesman. But if she is, I guess she suckered me. Let's see what we got in here. Seventy-nine thousand two hundred and fifty miles. No keys. But maybe like that 65, we'll find them laying underneath the seat or something. Let's see if we can find. So I actually bought this one sight unseen. Ah, what the hell? You know, the guy's got to have a 59 in life. Let's see what we got here. Good old six cylinder. Somebody pulled the plugs on it already. So I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll turn over. The old man thinks it's gonna start, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of questioning it. If we get a little time, a little extra time, we'll throw a battery in it, jump the starter. Let's see what we all got going on in this thing. Even these front ends on these are just beautiful. Beautiful piece of machinery. Even with all the rust on the bottom. So let's see what kind of treasures we're gonna find today. All right, what we got here? Like a shadow box, somebody's somebody's project in school. I can go in the garbage. I don't think we'll be needing that. Mm, must be original fifty nine. I don't know. Somebody probably knows more than I do on that one. Some glass. 
empty box. What are you doing in here? Oh, that's cool. 1977 calendar. So probably goes to show you how long this car's actually been sitting with nobody. A couple ice scrapers, Lake Region Agency. New London, Minnesota. We got any Minnesota viewers today? If you are, it's a beautiful country over there. If you've never been over there, New London is a beautiful area. Make sure where the car came from down in that area. Nice drive. I haven't found anything cool yet. Not holding out on you guys. So you need a comb. Maybe we'll keep the flooring in this one. We'll just kind of clean her out. I'll peek under there. We'll take a peek under there and see what's going on. If it's too rusty, I'm going to leave it in. Just for the sake of not having some huge holes in there to cover up during the wintertime. Automatic overdrive. All right, let's do some of this glass. Get this out of here. Oh, is it for this car? Maybe it is. Maybe not, yeah. Just side window. On. Yeah, for that one's cracked. I know the driver's side's in there. I don't know if it's off the track or what's going on. Put that upstairs. Maybe I'll put it back in the car. But for now, let's get it out of here. Oh, ain't that just bitching? Coors Light. Coors Light hat. God, that's a classic. Like Gilligan. Gilligan's Coors Light hat. Let's see if we can take a peek under this floor pan here. Let's see if we got it. I cleaned up good. I'm just worried about what's underneath this thing. I know when we had it on the rollback, it was... It was crusty. I ain't gonna fool myself here. Take a little peek under here. Well, not extremely bad. Soft, but I just leave that. Tore up that nice flooring. Try the glove box in this thing. All right, let's see if we can go for two for two. This see a mouse nest already. I'll be in there. Yeah. God damn mice! Made a hell of a nest too.
just want to see if there's any cool paperwork in here. Something there. Lots of it. Insurance. Acrylic lacquer cleaning. Magic mirror. Huh. Maybe we got painted at one point in time in its life. Oh, look at that. Oh. It's a nine Chevy guide. That's cool. I would found that. I was a sucker for old literature like that. Oof. Sons of Norway application. Birthday cards. Any money? Oh, that's cool. Happy birthday. Wishing you fun in every way for a big real rootin' tootin' day, the Johnson. Well, I'm a Johnson. I never wrote that, so. Kind of ironic. And tacky, but ironic. Let's see. It's like Indiana Jones in here. Archaeological work. Tab. For my time. Kit. Meter feeder. Coins and keys. Well, let's take a look. Maybe the keys are in it. Nope. That's why I got much to clean up in this thing. There's something new with this car now. Alright, you guys gotta see this. Um see actual floorboard isn't that bad over here. You know, it's all there. Probably a little soft, but start getting down in here. Somebody really did a homemade job. See that? You will just put the tin in there. Don't worry about anything else. And I knew that when we had it up, but I didn't know they took a piece of corrugated something tin put in there. So I guess you always see it. Everything different. People's got their own way. That's why I don't really want to get too wild with this one. Cause I don't want to be doing one bunch of patchwork just to store the car over the winter. So we'll probably see a little bit more down in here. A little filter. Oh, yeah. 
I'll show you guys this stuff here. What's going on? So, rear floor pan. I really cobbled this thing together. This is all tin. From here all the way. What was it? Sure, quite a ways. This is a hell of a fabrication job. See the line right along here. Good old New London, Minnesota made four pans. Well, you gotta do, you gotta do, I suppose, in that era. I suppose the car still and drove, so why not just patch the panels, patch the floors up, and give her hell? Here's the window I'm talking about. I don't know. It's off the track or something. Well, maybe for winter time, we'll, uh, we'll wait. Winter's already here. Maybe we'll get uh, some duct tape, a collision wrap. Wrap that thing up. Really kind of regretting not starting this channel in about May. Because now we're going to have to swing to project cars. Inside budget cars. Which is fine. I don't mind building stuff. But it just really puts a hamper on what you want to do on buying and selling. and Getting cars in and out, you know. So maybe we should throw some juice to this thing. See what's going on. I always told myself I'd never do a wheel run video, but I'm curious if this one at least turn over. You get any oil in it. Well, it's full of oil. Oof. Pretty thick. I don't know if she'll start in this old cold climate up here. I guess at least they took the plugs out of it. Well, somebody had a plan somewhere along the line. Right, let's clean up these battery cables quick. Just see, you know, you never know if we can get some power out of it or not. really crazy just in the last few weeks how the weather is I hate talking about the weather but when we started this channel it's pretty much out here in a t-shirt and jeans and now it's pretty much shut down season that's cold it's not cold cold it's manageable but Balancing act here to get this damn thing in here. I don't know if this battery's good, but I should try it. I doubt it. I never have a decent battery around here.
This and the batteries, shit. Story of my life here. I'm always looking for good batteries. To be continued. We'll see what happens. All right, YouTubers, we're back. Promised you that we would try to see if this engine would break loose. This is not a will it run video. Um, not doing that. So let's just see if it turns over. And if it does, then well, more power to us. If not, no harm, no foul. We'll just uh, soak the cylinders with some stuff and let her sit over winter and hibernate. So I got a battery hooked up. No power volt, no key in it. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna jump the starter with the screwdriver. The old trusty key here. All right, let's see how many sparks we can get flying here. I don't hear much promising in here right now. Come on. Break free. No, the only other thing we could do without really getting real intense with this thing since it does have good tires on it and the brakes are loosened up we could just pull it around the yard and see if we can't get it broke loose maybe that's what we'll try probably do some internal breakage on it but Oh, that might be a good idea for the day before we put it all back. Let's try that. Let's let's try to get her loosened up here quick. Reverse. You want to say hi? Hi, I'm the puller. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm ready. So we're in the 50 now. We're gonna pull pull this thing. See if we can get her uh, loosened up. My dad, he's pulling up there. We got her in first gear, three speed on the column. Well, we don't have any pavement to really bark the tires, so we're just gonna try it out here. See what we can do. There we go. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm rele releasing the clutch as we're driving just to see if it'll come out. But I feel the back wheels are still chattering, so. Actually, my first time ever driving a 59. So I wish we had a paved driveway or a paved road out here because we could really get her, uh, really get her to grab. Time I release the clutch. Maybe I 
I could talk him into taking me on on gravel. It's like a power drift in here with this thing. Come on, get me going a little bit more. the clutch works. Guess you guys are kind of getting a full tour of the yard. It's good for you. Maybe I'll shift it up in a second. How many of you remember actually driving a three-speed on the column? It took me a while to learn it. Actually, I didn't learn until a couple years ago. Kind of the weird thing. It's definitely a, a cat of its own on that deal. Take me out on the gravel. I think we need headsets. Walkie-talkies. alarm just slipping on him oh, make the turn make the turn I think she's best to be soaked in the cylinders with some diesel. And give her another shot about April. I think that's going to be a good plan for this thing. It's worth a shot. I'm not sure I really want to dedicate a lot of hours to this thing. I'll just hold the clutch, I'll let him drag me. See if it'll break loose. It's like we're at a tractor pull the old Chevy Cheyenne up there. <laughs> she really smokes under load. <laughs> Come on, pull me the finish, man. <laughs> It don't take much to talk him into doing shit like this because he's all about this deal. He's just kind of camera shy. Sorry about the glare here, guys. But... says one more time I say okay let's go this was a better better put the clutch in for this one I don't want to tear up our gravel road we only get it bladed one time a year so
drag me all the way. baby break loose for me still sliding so just grading the driveway out hill 59 all right after no luck the old man's gonna jump start it with his key starter man Nothing. No luck. No luck today. <laughs> well, now what do we do with it? It'll be another day next <laughs> spring. <laughs> All right, we're going to take that 59 out back and let her sit and think about it over winter if she wants to start in springtime. That's a wrap on this 59 for the week. Um, got it cleaned out. Nice thing is we didn't have to do the brakes or put tires on it. Um, tried to pull it around the yard, try to break it free a little bit. Didn't work. I thought we did get it, but we didn't get it. Uh, we'll let it sit out here and think about it over winter time. See if she wants to come up and be a part of the family. Uh, soak the cylinders down. Check it out in the springtime. April. Somewhere in there. So... Um, We'll wrap up of it here. You know, it's got the potential to be something. Somewhere. You know, it's, uh, we never did get in the trunk, but that's fine. So, yeah, I think that puts a wrap on this thing. Oh, poor 59. We can say we have one. Not the best, but not the worst. We'll go from there on it. So, thanks for checking out our channel. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more cool shit. Well, we're always busy, always doing something. So, uh, thanks for watching.